this this first guest is exactly that person. She did a, a journey of self discovery mm -hmm. with foods and recipes, and she came up with a cookbook. I love it. And uh, her book, Wandering Palate, is as much a travelogue as it is recipes. Here's Erica Schlick's recipe for pistachio crusted cod. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make my pistachio crusted cod recipe from my cookbook, Wandering Palette. And this is one of my absolutely favorite dishes in the entire book. It's so simple, but it looks so elegant and tastes absolutely delicious. So we're going to start by making our pistachio crust. I have one cup of crushed pistachios, and you can use your food processor or you can use a knife for this, but you just want them to be kind of crushed and bite-sized. And I have one tablespoon of fresh thyme that I picked from my garden I'll be using, and I have two tablespoons of capers, and this is going to give it a really nice and briny flavor, and I have two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons of fresh olive oil, or I'm sorry, extra virgin olive oil, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna go ahead and use a fork and get this combined. And you want it to be kind of a paste mixture almost so that the olive oil isn't too runny in it and you'll be able to put it on top of your fish as a crust. So we don't need to get it too crazy combined here, but just enough to get the oil and the lemon mixed in there. And we are all set with that. And now we can start to set up our fish. So I have an eight by eight baking pan that I'm gonna be using. And we're gonna go ahead and start by making a layer of lemons on the bottom that the fish is gonna sit on top of. And that's gonna make it look really beautiful and also infuse a little bit of citrus while it's cooking as well. And then we're gonna be using some grass-fed butter. So I just went ahead and put one tablespoon of a slice um, of butter underneath the fish. If you don't do dairy, you can always use some coconut oil for this as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our cod on top. And you want that to sit just over the butter that we put on there. And that is it. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our crust to it. And so it should be pretty sticky, but you wanna just go ahead and get the crust on top of the fish. And don't worry if it falls off to the side a little bit, it's gonna go ahead and bake as well and give it a nice crunchy little flavor that you can add on after it's cooked. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this fully covered here. And if there's any extra, I usually do just put it on the side of the pan. And trust me, once you're biting into this, you're gonna wish you had made double the amount of crust. And sometimes I do do a little extra when I make this recipe because it is just so good. You're just gonna have to see for yourself when you make this. And that's it. So we pretty much have crusted our cod and now it is ready to go into the oven. And we're gonna bake it at 380 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. And I like to check it about 10, 15 minutes into it and make sure the crust isn't browning too much. If it is, you can just put a bit of foil on there until it's ready to pull the fish out. And with cod, you wanna cook it until it reaches an internal temperature of about 145 degrees. And our cod is now out of the oven and ready to serve. And once you pull it out, I let it sit for about five minutes just to cool off slightly in the pan before you transfer it onto your plate or serving dish. And as a side, I love to pair it with some roasted carrots, which you can cook at the exact same time that you're baking your cod. Or I also have a delicious beet and grapefruit salad in my cookbook that pairs absolutely perfect with this dish. So let's go ahead and do a little taste test, make sure this turned out okay. Mmm. So good. The citrusiness and the topping with the pistachios, with the flakiness of the fish is absolutely delicious. This still is one of my favorite recipes in my cookbook and I hope you enjoy it too. You can get the recipe in Wandering Palette, which is available on my website, thetrailtohealth.com, and on Amazon as well. I hope you enjoy the recipe. 